The combination of parallels Mac management and a CCM allows you to painlessly secure your Macs without sacrificing the end user experience. Parallels Mac management extends a CCM configuration items. These configuration items that allow you to deliver Mac OS X configuration profiles, enable firewall to disk encryption on Macs, and enforce compliance via shell scripts. In the Windows world, GPO policies are used to apply settings on managed Windows devices. In the Mac world, configuration profiles are used to push settings to Macs. There are two ways to create an ICCM configuration item that delivers configuration profiles. First is to use Parallels Mac Management's built-in configuration profile editor. Within the editor, you can select payloads with settings that you want to apply to Macs. If you have a configuration profile that you created using macOS 10 configuration server, you can export the profile to a .mobile config file and then create an CCM configuration item embedded with .mobile config file. The file world 2 configuration item allows you to create an CCM baseline that automatically encrypts hard drives of managed Macs. You can use institutional or personal keys to encrypt Macs. If a configuration item is configured to use personal keys, a personal file world 2 key is created for each Mac when the configuration item is applied to it. Those personal keys are escrowed in the CCM database, and it is possible to retrieve a personal key via SCCM console extensions provided by Parallels Mac Management. If you want to enforce a setting that is not covered by configuration profiles or perform a sophisticated compliance check, you can use a script configuration item. Let's say I want to assign a standard corporate wallpaper image to all Macs. I will need to use the native SCCM create configuration item wizard to create a configuration item. I give it a name and select macOS as the item type. There is no need to specify macOS 10 version here. Parallels Mac management ignores this information. If you want to target a specific macOS 10 version, you can create a device collection for that version, or you can do an OS version check as part of a compliance script. And now we need to add a script to the configuration item. So I click the new button and select script as the item type. In the create settings dialog, I give it a name and set string as the data type. And now I need to specify a discovery script. The next step is to create a compliance rule. That's it, the compliance rule as well as the configuration item have been created. When it's time to deploy configuration items to Macs, the workflow is the same as when you manage Windows PCs. First you create one or more configuration items, then you create a baseline and assign those items to it. And for the last step, you assign the baseline to a collection of Macs. In the next demo video, I will cover various ways to deploy software packages and patches to manage Macs. Thanks for watching.